What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Champ in the Tramp. Today's episode is brought to you by none other than Bubba Coos Burritos, my go-to spot. I love Bubba Coos. Take the family there all the time. My go-to is the Signature Creations, which is basically build your own. You pick it, point at it, they build it for you. You know what they built for me? What they built? The crispy chicken bacon sriracha ranch quesadilla. It's a mouthful, but it's delicious. Get yours today, Bubba Coos Burritos. Real show. Here we go. Real show. Here we go. You know that it's got to be that time, so this is what we chant. What we'll keeps on getting them all amped in advance. Come on. You and I rocking out with Iron Man F.E. You get the general's point of view on top of Roger's rants. Whenever it's happening out, we're putting the most minutes in. You already know what that's about. You know that winners win. Crush whatever's on task. Check the podcast. It's the champ and the tramp. Let the bomb blast. What's up, everybody? I just pulled my dick out of Roger's mouth. He's ready to go. <laughs> How can you start a show off like that? All right, go ahead. Uh, all right. <laughs> we just lost half our uh, viewers right, right there. Right. Go ahead, buddy. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Champion and Tramp. On this week's episode, I got my man, Roger Matthews. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank you for having thank me. It's a pleasure you, to be thanks here. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. I'm glad you wore your fucking business pants yeah. for, to the party. <laughs> hey, listen, you're, you're always looking very uh, casual and comfortable. Sporty, down baby. Here, so. Sporty spice. Sporty spice. What's up, my man? I got to wash these sneakers. Nothing, buddy. I had a good day with you yesterday, man. We just, uh, that up. was fun. Yeah, it was that cool, was man. Fun. Oh, did you get any? Did he send you any pictures? You didn't have his number, did you? No. I got pictures. Oh, I yeah? I gave them to you. Yeah, cool, cool. Yeah. Our uh, our guy uh, Sure Shot, who uh, who cut the intro, the, the I should say the the rap intro for our show. We spent the day with him yesterday and his videographer buddy Jimmy. You know Jimmy's yeah. last name? What's Jimmy's last name? Slimbo. Doesn't matter. Slimbo. Slimbo. Yeah. Anyway, uh, spent the day with them shooting a new uh, shooting a new intro for Champ of the Tramp. It was a good day, man. Just hit some some legendary spots, you know, on the Seaside Boardwalk and cheese had, balls. Had uh, had a Seaside Tony cheesesteak. Yep. But the, the one shot. <clears throat> We has where we're standing on the the, the stage, kind of. Yeah. They got the two seaside boats and the American flag right there. I know, but Wait. the American flag wasn't up. There was no flag. Remember I said that? <clears throat> and what do you do? Photoshop it in? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't believe the American flag's yeah. not here today. All right, hang on. He must just only have it in the summertime. But that'd be cool if he photoshopped it in. He did. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Uh, yeah. That is fucking. Send me that. Why did you send me that? I did. I, prick. I, because, man. I was figure I was going to see it. You're a prick. I was going to send you this one, too. <laughs> Frankie standing in his underwear. No, pretty much. Stop it. Pretty much. Did you work out today? I did. I hit the gym. Tell um, people. All right, listen. Sir, I'm being serious now. Yep. Like, tell people you've been in the gym. You've been a gym rat for fucking quite a long time, right? You're quite. A, quite, I, would, quite I would say gym rat. Yeah. Quite right. You know what I mean? You do right. Not a trainer though. So you can go ahead. I say you're a trainer, but I said you go and do you have a trainer? No. Okay, exactly. So you train yourself. So you're right. somewhat of a trainer, right? In, so. in a way, Yo, listen. Can you put the fucking phone on silent, please? Fucking, that's our, our, that's our guys, our, our new uh, cryptocurrency guys. Go ahead. Voxel. Voxel. Yeah. <clears throat> we'll have to talk about that one. Yeah, we, we definitely have get a little more info that. on it too. Yep. But um. Uh, yeah. So, people will probably want to know what your routine is. You know, as a working man, I'm how many how many people out there were listening could be listening that work a normal job mm-hmm. and they want to know what your routine is to go work out. Yeah, uh, I mean, I I I used to be very regimented. Obviously, before kids, I was I was at least a five six day a week guy. I'm I'm probably like a four maybe five day a week guy Monday to Friday now. But um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a creature of habit, you know. And they say that's the wrong thing to do. Obviously, with lifting, you want to keep shocking your muscles or whatever. But you know, I kind of just do my little routine that I've done for for forever and I'm comfortable with. And you know, let I, me guess, today was chest. Today was chest. I know. Monday's Fucking International Monday. Chest yeah, Day for yeah, everybody, yeah, man. Yeah. You know that. But I don't, I don't lift as heavy as I used to do. We used to switch it up a lot. When I lifted with a big group and I had more time and I could spend two and a half, three hours at the gym, you know, I lifted with some, some pretty heavy guys. We, yeah. we would do, you know, we did German volume training. I don't know if you're familiar with that. It's just like the most sets you can do. All right, all right, and right. Um, we did that for a while. And, and, and I think when you're doing things like that and constantly switching up, that's when you see the most growth and the most improvement. I've, you know, truth be told, I've kind of gotten lackadaisical and I just – I just kind of go through the motions now of, of lifting. But, I, you know, I'm 46. I don't feel like, 
I, I, I guess it's just a number, but I just don't feel like grinding as hard as I used to grind, you know? I think you should. So. Yeah, I know. I know. It keeps I, the edge. I know. You know. It does. It does. I need. To, I definitely need to step up my game, but also with diet, man. I'm, I'm as uh, fluffy as I've ever been, and we're going tomorrow and doing a – we're doing a Wim Hof session tomorrow where you got to fucking get down to your skivvies and get into an ice bath, so we're not yeah, going to do – Yeah, going to be fun. Yeah, I'm not going to do any camera close-ups on Roger tomorrow, but – yeah, man, it's you know, it's it's just like I, I I feel bad if I don't go. So I go every day because it does make me feel better. I spend about a, you know, this is post kids. I spend about an hour a day in there, uh, Monday to Friday, and I I get it in. I don't do any cardio, which I should because that would help me lose weight. But you know, it's like I get an hour in there. Am I going to do cardio? or Am I going to lift? You know. Well, what, what about like circuit training? You ever think about that? That's got to uh, kind of get a little bit of. Best, yeah, best I've I've world. done circuit training before. <laughs> I haven't done it recently, but yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. I need uh I need Frankie Yeager to write me up a, a workout. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I mean, I you probably, weight train once could. in a while, right? I you don't you don't weight train often, but you do occasionally, yeah, I right? Do. Oh, I do. Oh, yeah, three days a week. Do you? Yeah, always I have. Mean, I do strength and conditioning. Yeah, right. But pretty much what, kettlebell stuff like that. No, I mean we lift. Like t- I mean, <clears throat> depends when I'm at where I'm at right, in my right. training camp. But like yeah, I lift weights like a not right. quite like you maybe, but I deadlifted today. Did you? Did, yeah. My How do you deadlift with a bad back, bro? Dude, it's crazy. I could bend over and be good. It's what yeah, I stand yeah, for a long time. Big. That's for sure. I know. You do deadlifts here in the basement? I did. Yeah. Today. Really? And honestly, it's the first time I did deadlifts since I probably had my fucking hip surgery. That's crazy. And, uh, what are you pulling good. for weight? I, I was like, I was only like 255 yeah, today. Yeah. You know? But I was moving good, it fast. I felt yeah, good. Good little workout good. weight, yeah. Yeah. That's what I do. I I don't I don't listen for a big guy. I'm not extremely strong anyway. Even my heyday, I wasn't crazy strong. My arms seem to be you know, which is kind of a hard thing to measure. There's not a lot of competitions where you measure arm strength, but le- legs. I was never great. Obviously, I don't have big legs. Chest. I I built. I worked on chest. Got to you know where I could. I I you know I, I always say I almost got 405. People that don't know, I say yeah, I got 405. I didn't really. It was damn near there. But uh, 385, I got in a comp one time. But again, I'm I'm a big guy. I should have got. I should I should be able to bench more than that. You know. So. Yeah, but you're tall too, though. Doesn't that matter? <sighs> There's two schools of thought on that. We talked about it. You know, the lo- longer your limbs are, they say you have more area to build mass. But the shorter your arms are, the shorter your throw. You know, so the the bottom line is, I would say it's easier. And you know, probably sounds like I'm making an excuse for shorter limbed people because every pro you know every power lifter that pushes crazy weight and went they have alligator arms i've never seen a big dude win one of those ever have you well i don't know i, I just know that guy like thor or you know thor was his name yeah well that's right. world strong man i guess you're right in that aspect yeah, yeah those those are super big dudes i was talking about bench but specifically I'm saying he's, i mean he's speci- he's yeah. even big for those guys yeah like, yeah tall yeah, he's tall yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, you're you're right. In 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 the in the in the uh, and like, world, and he does world dead, and he fucking has the world record for deadlift. Yep. So you yep. know, I mean, that's the same thing, right? Yeah. Range of motion. You I suppose go you're high, right. right. So yeah, and, and then I, I I guess I was just limiting it to chest and all those guys. No, but you do. You would think guys have the, right. the, the fucking the, like, with those. But there was those, a guy, Magnus. They use those vests. You ever seen him use yeah, the vests? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's kind of cheating. But there was a guy, uh, Magnus Ver Magnuson. I don't know if you yeah, remember yeah, him. He was he wasn't that big. Everybody towered over him in that world strongman comp, and he won a bunch of years in a row, bro. You know, he was still a big guy for you know for if you if you put him around average men, he'd be a big guy. But around those guys, he wasn't that big, yeah. and he won consistently. You know, crazy. That dude, that dude Thor, though, he's impressive. He's bro. impressive, man. And like world's strongest men, like they're not like me. They're not, I mean, they're not. They are meatheads. They're fucking gigantic, but they're not like fucking shredded at all. Like you get a fucking bodybuilder dude, and he's right. gonna gas out quick as shit. Those yeah. guys got stamina f- yep. for for their size, man. Strength, stamina too. A lot yeah. of you know they, they hold do on those car pulls yeah, right. and shit. Like dude, that's minutes. Takes like five minutes. Who's the other guy? Um, he actually got pretty shredded lately. I've seen Eddie Eddie Hallman. I think Eddie Hallman. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's his uh-huh. name. He's won a bunch of times. I thought he had the biggest deadlift. I thought he beat out Thor, but maybe not. Uh-huh. But anyway, um, yeah, he leaned up. He so, got like abs and shit. But when, so when you work out, you go so like in about an hour. Mm-hmm. Do you warm up or you boom just jump right in? No, I read it? I read something recently. This warming up doesn't help you. Yeah, I, I did. I read that. I read it recently. I don't, I don't know about yeah. that. I think yeah. about getting your heart. I, well, where did you read this? No stretching. I guess stretching. Maybe okay. not warming. Where stretching. did you read this? I've, I don't know. No, I, I've men's heard, health. I don't know. Okay. Actually, I, I, there's there's a couple, you know. Thoughts, a couple, couple mm-hmm. of theories, you know what I mean, that, that people go by. But yeah, some people think stretching isn't as important, or like static stretching is important. People say the dynamic stretch. I kind of, I kind of don't do static stretching much, but I do a lot of dynamic. What's stretching. the difference? It's like while I'm moving, right. you know, I'm not, I'm not sitting holding. Right. I'm, you know, pulling my knee to my chest and then walk, pull my, or right. touch my toe as I walk, touch my toe as I walk. I, I won't gotcha. stay there for twenty seconds, whatever. Gotcha. But I do yoga sometimes too. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, I've I've never done that. So you don't so so you don't warm up. No, I do. I mean, I warm up what, with, with weight. You know, like with like what, what today I did chest. So I'll mm-hmm. put two forty five pound plates on, and I'll do three sets of ten with that to warm up. I call that my warm up. You know what I mean? So I think that's warming up and stretching, okay. isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I guess it's warming you know. up a little bit before you get after it. I've never listen. I've never well, one time. I, I've never tore a muscle. I've been lifting for twenty plus years. So you know, okay. if it ain't I broken, don't fix have, it. Have you? Have, do you run? No, and I don't at, do any cardio. When's the last time you ran? <sighs> High school? No. No. Yeah, probably. Really? When, okay, when's the last time you sprinted? With you. Really? Yeah, That's when, not good, bro. I know. My cardio is spr- Sprinting is something you should always like always do. like For your cardio, weekly. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. For your cardio, just for like life. Yeah. Spr- you know? What do you mean life? How does sprinting help life? It helps, your, helps you. Because one day you're going to need to fucking run. run from and a you're, cop? Not, you're not going to be able to do it. <laughs> no, nah, I mean, not, no, whatever, anything. Yeah. One day you're going to need to fucking run and you can't do it. That's a problem. <laughs> Seriously. You know? I think <laughs> last summer I raced the girl on the beach. That was, that was my one really? sprint for the summer. Who won? I did. Really? I'm way Are taller. You, so you're she took off big, like a rocket. Bro. She's little. Big. Plus but, the sand. And it was, a, it was a long run, too. We ran quite a ways. But, how. how you think you beat me? Caught up to her? No. No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not that fast. Well, first of all, you're gonna shoot out of the hole and get way ahead of me, and now I got I got to get these legs going and try to catch up. But do I think I can beat you? No. Maybe now. Like, are you fast? I don't know. No, I don't think no. I'm especially fast, but I, I was know. fast enough to beat her. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, so so you go so you did just chest today? Or you do like chest and by. Just chest, chest and try. Chest abs. And try. Chest, oh, and chest and abs. I try to get abs in now because I'm getting fat, so I try to do abs do you, after. But you know it doesn't help you get. Like, I know. It just straightens your core. I have a solid but core, But it's good. Bro. It's good like, to do it. punch me that in my core, like, it's solid, yeah. but it's just fat over it. I just I got a layer that I have to get rid of, and that's from not eating well. You know, I don't yeah, eat. It's 100%. 100,000%. But do you, how, do, how many calories do you think you burn at the gym? How many calories do I burn at the gym? You sweat, you sweat when you're there? A little bit. Not profusely. Not profusely. You got to fucking sweat, bro. Yeah. That's how you get it's rid more of those cardio. toxins. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. or just, I sweat easy too. Or just don't let you rest, don't rest as much. Right. Right. You know? Or switch right. up your workout a little bit. I'm lackadaisical, bro. I'm admitting it. I'm admitting it. I got lazy. Well, I'm, I'm I here to lazy. motivate you. Buddy. I got lazy. I'm bro. here to motivate you. You know what I'm saying? I Fuck. appreciate it. I appreciate it. Like Thank tomorrow, you. I want you to give a fucking like a, a real effort at this thing. Tomorrow. I got the kids tomorrow, so tomorrow's like a super quick workout. I get out of work no, at no, three thirty. No, no, I'm, I'm not talking about the gym. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> tomorrow, what we're going to? We're, you're, you're not, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's different. That's not. That's that's like mind over matter shit. That's like you know. Yeah, like, but give it a real effort. Yeah, yeah. You know. What do you think? I'm just jump right out. I don't know. I don't know. I hope you don't, because if you're in there, I know I'll stay in. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, well, there's multiple. Oh, I don't know. So I thought we were just like taking turns, because how is the longest one person could stay in? No. Ten minutes, maybe. No. What do you? I don't you know. think he's got? You think he's no got idea. thirty I ice baths no there? I don't I think no so. Yeah. I doubt it. I think he's got maybe a few, and you just kind of share it. I, I would guess. How, You're this, hoping. This, You're hoping. To you share think this hotel lets anybody. him bring in thirty troughs and set them up in the middle of the troughs? Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> maybe we'll see. Yeah, we're doing an ice bath tomorrow, so. No, we're doing. The Wim Hof breathing part of it is yeah. being submerged in an ice bath. You're just worried about the ice bath. I am worried about it. But you know, I was talking to someone that that, that did one of these um, Wim Hof, you know, classes, mm-hmm. and they were like, they left, they left, they didn't do ice bath. They just did the breathing stuff. Mm-hmm. Left super energized. Said their fucking their body was tingling during it. Really? Yeah. Really. Well, for me, it it it's going to be a little different for you guys. I've never done it. You do it. Jesse's done it. I've never done an ice bath ever. I mean, is that to say I've never been in cold water? I grew up in Maine. I was always in cold water, but ice bath specifically. What the fuck, what's the difference? Because you're you're I you know I jump into a lake and I'm moving and I'm swimming and I'm going. This you're just submerged and you're working on your breathing and you're focusing on just staying in that ice bath. You're not doing any work. You're not swimming. You're not, you know, you're not moving. I think there's yeah. a difference there. I mean, yeah, I guess so. You know? I guess so. It's still fucking cold water. If you want to like move around the, in the in the bath, it'd be all right. <laughs> you know, I feel like when I go, because I do it, I have that my. Uh, mm-hmm. I see it on the What backyard. is that? It's like um, I don't know what that is. It's just a big tub, you know, plastic tub. I got it from for, Tractor Supply. Yeah, for horses. Yeah, and shit. yeah, yeah. Well, watering thing. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy, what is wrong with this? There's your trailer. Um. Go ahead, buddy. You lost train of thought. You I were, did. You were I focusing did. too I much did. on the I did. I did. on the horse thing. I need some dewormer. <laughs> <laughs> Switching gears. Uh, you ever you, you you watch porn? I mean, I have watched porn. Do I uh, watch porn? Not not, not for not like frequently. No. Really? Mm. Well, you, a, you watch porn? I got a problem. I yeah? got a problem with porn, and I've decided recently. 
done a little research on it recently. You know, one of the things that kind of um, brought it to my attention is I watched uh, an interview Terry Crews did. You know, t- obviously Terry Crews actor. Know Terry. Yep. You know who he is. Yeah, I, I like that guy. I got a lot of res- your buddies there. Right? No, 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 oh, no. I like that guy. I got a lot of respect for him. But he did, uh, and he was on a number of shows. I think he was on Doctor Phil. I don't know. And he talked about his his problems with porn and how it led to cheating and how it led to his view on women and um, that he you know never allowed him to be in like a, a satisfying relationship even with his wife and um, you know his wife left him for a period of time and they ended up you know working out getting back together but uh, he attributed a lot of his issues to porn mm. so I just listened to it so then I started researching it a little bit like you know is that true like I never you know I think there is a a feeling of like guilt, if you will, that goes with it. You just kind of feel guilty watching porn, right? I feel like, you know what I feel like? I feel like my grandmother's looking at me from heaven, and I'm like, I'm like a fucking dirtbag, you know? But um, Stop touching it, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I definitely would say I have a problem watching porn, and I think it causes issues in my life, and the more I've read about it, like just recently, reading about it, I'm like, holy shit, a lot of these issues well, that I have with had, anxiety had, and stress. Remember we had Perez in? Yeah, and he was speaking on this. Was you he? Remember that? Yeah, mm-hmm. it was the last time we had Perez, and he was speaking on how he stopped messing with porn. He said he had some chick, and he's like, "Suppose into chick." He was like desensitized. Exactly. You know, and I, yeah. I, 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 it made me think of it, and yeah, it does does it make sense. Totally desensitized. It, uh, yeah, definitely. It's it can't, related. it can't be good for you. I mean, it's right? related to the gray matter, which and is especially like, like, listen, back in the day, like you had to fuck. Like I said, I, we we had to find our, like, nudie magazines in the woods. Right. That's how we had to look at shit. Now it's like so accessible. It's you get that overstimulation, and then you do de- do get de- desensitized. That is correct. So even when you know, and that was my first experience with it. I was I was enamored by porn from an early age, but I remember um, finding you know nudie magazines. It was there was at, I was at my gra- I was always at my grandmother's, and near her house it was a mill, an old an old mill milling wood I and you stuff. Were your grandma down at the nudie oh magazines. god, get out of here! There was a there was a mill. And it was closed down, you know, so me and my friends would kind of go through buildings and stuff. It was all, and we opened some desk one day, and there was porn magazines in there. And I remember just being enamored by it. For real, that's always, you always find shit, like, abandoned places. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I remember, like, going, and I remember, like, oh, my God, I got to keep this in a safe place, you know what I mean? Like, I got to fucking protect this shit. So I hid it somewhere, and I'd always go back and look at it and stuff. I don't remember how old I was. If I had to guess, I'd say, I, I don't know, 12, I don't know, somewhere in that age, and just being enamored by it, but... Still, you know, and, I, and reading reading about it, your my fucking phone. I'm sorry, How dude. Come I, on, that's, that's the that's that's our guys. Hit turn it? silent. The whole shit on silent. I thought I the turned. side button. What do you mean the side button right here? I'm turning yeah. it down. Not down. Turn it off. How? Give me this thing, bro. It's off. Give me the thing. I just turned it off. What are you talking about? This thing, bro. You don't know this thing. You do that, boom. Now it's everything's vibrating, and you're not the brightest. <laughs> How long you had an iPhone for? <laughs> All right. Anyway, back to porn. Back. <laughs> right, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. What's the difference between turning the volume all the way down? Because now it vibrates and, you know, and it, instead of beeps. <laughs> okay. All right. So, back to porn. Um, just being enamored by it, you know, from a younger age. But then, you know, reading about it a little bit, they say you still are required to use your imagination. You know what I mean? Like, porn, porn. porn has come so far in 20 years. Now it's... It's so at your fingertips and so easy to watch. And, you know, the 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 idea behind, you know, this this sexual, I guess, attraction towards women goes all the way back to the beginning of time when, you know, there was cavemen. And, you know, you, the closest proximity you might have to a woman would be miles, you know. So you is that still my phone? Oh, wow. Ah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Damn. All right. Too so, shy, too shy. <laughs> so you're, you know, you're, you're, you're. It's, it's ingrained in men to, to, you Wanna know, reproduce. procreate, right? To yeah, reproduce, you know. Yeah. So, um, when you'd see a woman, that, that would be what. Now it's so at your fingertips, but that, that, that drive, drive is still, is still there. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? That people go overboard with it, and I'm definitely guilty of that. But yeah. you know, back to you saying looking at what's your go-to at, site at magazines. Oh, they're all oh, free now, bro. Who would pay for a site now? They're all free. Pornhub, you know, XX video, X videos. They're all free now. Mm. You know, it's like you'd be an idiot. TNA flicks. I could tell you them all, but <laughs> I'm saying, so um, you know, you'd, you'd be stupid to to um, pay for it. But well, the point is, is in the last 20 years. It has just come to such a degree where it's so easily accessible, and it's gotten much more hardcore, much, much more raunchy. You know, like the things yeah, that are happening yeah. in porn now. So you're constantly pushing 
you know, your your limits to something where it's almost extreme. It's just very unhealthy for a relationship. It's just not healthy. So I've decided I'm going to give it up. I'm going to give, give it up. up. I'm going to give it up. Mm. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's been a week, which is nothing, but, you know, we'll see. Start punching girls and stuff that you, that's <laughs> you've been doing? You don't want to start punching girls and spit in their mouth? <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's what you can watch, you know what I mean? I you know, just, dude, can, it's you crazy. Can, you can watch crazy shit that almost looks like it's illegal, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. You know, I guess they're willing participants, but, so you know, and then it's kind of like a full circle weird thing because most girls in porn have, have been abused, sexually abused. What's they say, right? No, there's, there's, they there's, say, yeah. Yeah, not the, not well, they you, say. You know, you know. I don't know, but they've That's certainly they interviewed many. Right. They've done right. some studies on this, and and the well, majority. Well, makes sense, though, right? Right. So I'm I'm saying it's it's kind of crazy. They're doing these acts that that kind of push them in that direction. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And other men are satisfying themselves over that. You know. So the bottom what, line what is. What about what about dudes that like uh, they call they call incels, right? I don't know what that like, is. Incel. Involuntary, like in, celibate. You know what I mean, in, in, involuntary celibate, like they can't, they can't get a dude. They don't have the, the confidence, or a good dude. They can't get a chick. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they, they, they don't have the confidence. Or they're ugly, or you know, whatever. Never you know? heard of that. Yeah, you ever right. heard of incels? No. no? no. And you ever heard that word? Incels. Yeah. Not, not jerking off. They call this actually. You know, it's becoming kind of more of a thing now. But it's called no fap. If you don't jerk off. Yeah, no fap. What is why? Fap. You never heard of fapping? No, it's the sound, sound that oh, your hand makes when oh, it hits your balls. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> You're jerking off. It's called fapping. Yeah. So they yeah, call it no fap if you give it up. You know what I mean? So I've decided. We call it no fap. We call it no fap. No, no. I'm it? saying that's what that's oh. what it's known as. You know, oh. no fap means you give it up. Fapping. So wait. Fap. So, so you're saying you you so when you give up porn, you give up jerking off. Yeah. Wow. Well, they 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 they, they do I'm say. I'm just saying. Listen. They do listen, say. No, no, if wait, you use no. your imagination. I just think because the situation you're in now, <laughs> it's like I can see like me giving it up. All right, yeah. I can I can find a way to release, but you might have a hard time finding a way to release. But I'm here's thinking. why. Here's why. Hear me out. The DMs are open, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 no. no. I'm I don't know where I'm at right now. We're 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 in a in a better place, but um, possibly working things out. We'll see what happens, but um. I think it it was a detriment to my relationship. I do. I think it affected it. Really? I do. Well, okay. Yeah, I, I, do. I, I don't want to. I mean, I don't know. I, I can get personal here. I don't, I don't want to get too personal. Uh, not about her because she. Well, no, just she, about. Yeah. I'm saying, are you. Uh, uh, wait, okay, say, so regardless, anytime you're you're in your <clears throat> years of fapping, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. When you fap, does it make you not want to have sex no. with someone else? No. It's okay. probably going to sound like really conceited of me, but if, since as I can remember. I've had this insane sex drive where that no, I could jerk off and have sex right after. You know what I mean? I don't know why that is, but um, jerking off is just easier because you know, like your your lady, you don't have to do any work. Your lady doesn't might always not be in the mood, you know. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, you just yeah. go in the shower and get it done, you know. So shower, that's your go, that's your spot. Yeah, yeah. easy easy cleanup, <laughs> easy cleanup in there. It's true. But you know, but then it just becomes from you know, let's say you know, twenty years ago, let's say I started looking at porn or whatever. I can remember actually. You started with twenty years ago. I don't know if it was 20 years you're ago, but rough. 30s, you're 50s too? Well, 20, porn has only really been around on the internet for about you 20 mean, years. You meant, you meant on the internet? No, I was looking at magazines right, before right, that. Right, sure, right, sure. Okay. But those are pretty much. Videos, HVHSs. You're still, VHSs. You're still you required. You had no VHSs? I can remember like watching one or two. Yeah, yeah, but, you, yeah. Sneak, you gotta sneak in front right. of your friends' parents and right, shit. Right, exactly. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> so, um, when it became available on the internet, I remember, <laughs> I remember, I can remember living with my old roommate this is you know shortly after moving to jersey and uh he had a, a computer like an old school computer set up in the basement mm. and i would go down there late at night and we could porn yeah so it was crazy but um sticky keys <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah i i just decided that it's 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 unnecessary the more research i did on it I'm definitely symptomatic without question of some of the, you know, what they say, how it affects your brain. Anxiety, depression, loss of memory, they say is a huge part of that. Wait, of porn? From porn, yeah. What? It affects, how does that make any sense? Because it affects the gray matter. Like the gray matter is the outside of your brain, right? Which is responsible for emotion, memory, and it, it, it depletes that once you're. Yeah, Where until, did you hear this? Google it. I Google. I'm, I'm asking. Google. I want to know where Google. you heard this. Google. I'm not. Google. I'm not Google. Google. I'm not questioning. I'm asking you where you heard this. I don't know the name of the the outlet that released it, but on Google, I that was. Gray matters. The gray matters about that. It, it depletes controls the gray, all those things. Right. I don't know. That's kind of right. crazy. Right. Well, the the problem they have with actually getting really good data on this 
is it's hard to get a control group, right? Because most, you know, you want young, healthy, fit men. That's typically when most surveys and studies are done or whatever. You know, people that are still in their most, sexual. There's most healthy you're not, fit men you're not gonna, aren't, aren't watching porn. No, no. The opposite. They, they most say. aren't. Did you say aren't most watching? Aren't, most, yeah, there's most, are watching porn. So it's hard. Are, yeah, so, it's so, hard yeah, to find yeah, right, a control right. group. So, yeah, I got so it. they yeah. these studies aren't you know they're not they're not like set in stone you yeah, know yeah. but because it's it's either a people don't want to participate in the studies because it's embarrassing and people don't want to admit it or talk about it or b you can't find a control group because you 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 want to interview these younger men who are sexually active and have a sexual drive about them. You're not going to obviously do this study with dudes in their sixties and seventies and almost all of them look at porn, you know? So it's not an exact science, but this is what I've read. And I'm sure it's arguable in many circumstances. But yes, I what I read was it, it, it affects memory. The, the gray matter of your brain, which is memory, which is emotion. I don't know if that's true, but anyway. Okay, well. No, I, I'm not, I'm just saying, it could be true. Right. I don't know if it's true. Right. I was just thinking, wouldn't it be like, what, 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 what is, what is the, there's the cere- cerebellum, right. the, uh, what else? Come on, give me some names of the brain. Frontal lobe. Frontal lobe. Yeah, like those, I think, control. Emotion? Emotion and stuff. I, I think gray matter is something else in your brain. That's what I'm trying to say. Well. Okay. But I get I get, the, I get the gist you're saying. Some part of the brain controls that and affects, mm-hmm. porn affects it, I, I, I guess. What about, like, what else? What else? It's called the, what I was trying to think of, I couldn't think of it. It's called the, uh, the collage effect. Mm. And that's, you know, like introducing a new partner releases new dopamines that you do not get with staying with the same partner, right? Mm. So you're so, releasing so, these dopamines well, oh, and, and when you don't, you're watch it, when you're right, watching you porn, don't actually you, have to do it physically. Right, like you, you're you, married, you've been mind, married for yeah, 16 yeah. years. That doesn't mean that. So damn, some, I've been messing, up, messing but that around with my wife every time I watch porn? N- n- <laughs> yeah, well that's what it means. Your mind <laughs> thinks that. Your mind yeah. very much thinks that, right? Right, 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 right. right. So it has this this effect that's where these you get this you get this dopamine dump and it's, you know, like I said, it's called the the collage the not the collage effect, the collage effect. And you know it stems back to when uh, the collage, we were, the collage of the spank bank. <laughs> when we were so <laughs> when we were so sparsely populated, that was so ingrained in our genetics that now we live in a much different time where uh, it's so uh, readily available. So our instincts are fucking. You can have this collage us. effect yeah. over and over and over and over and over again. Same thing again, with you know eating. Mean? Same thing right. with eating. Like you know we. Or we want to sit down same. and eat like, till we're fucking gorged. That is a dopamine because, release. The same as well, not, not even that, but because our minds are instinctually, we're like, oh, I don't know if we're, when we're going to get a meal again. Right, right. You know? Right. So, but it's the same thing. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. It's a different level. It's measured. You know what I mean? The dopamine release that you get from eating food is not as high as the dopamine you, you release when you're having sex yeah. or having Thanks. an orgasm, Thanks. I guess. Have really good ass fucking. Uh... No, I'm not joking. <laughs> Pizza? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah, to, listen. I'm not a scientist. I did some research. I, I, You're not I, a scientist. I can't. I can't. I can't speak <laughs> very intelligently about the matter. But the research I did, I I believe it sold you. I enough believe to stop fucking beating your meat. It's having, right. It's having an effect on my life and my relationships in a negative way. in a negative way. So how long have you been f- I celibate told, on the uh, flapping? I just told you. I just started doing this research. It was only about a week, but Okay, so you haven't flapped in a week? <laughs> I have not. I've been no fapping for a oh, week. Oh, fapping, flapping. <laughs> <laughs> uh, One you might fat, but I flap. And they say, you know, obviously that's not going to do anything, but they 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 say, you know, there's been studies done and brain mapping done where it's very closely related to addiction to drugs. Yeah, I, it affects the same part of the brain. I, I think, I think, yeah, I could see that. You know, and I kind of do. I mean, this probably sounds creepy. It's as a taboo thing, fun. right? It's kind of a taboo. It's taboo, thing. yeah. It's not. I didn't, I didn't come down here like I want to talk about this, but I talk about real life stuff. You know what I mean? And and it's real life, and it's something I've kind of looked into recently. Terry Crews was very open with it. Theo Vaughn mm. also talked about it a little bit. How he gave up fapping. <laughs> so gave it up. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm like I'm a pretty even keel dude. Porn. Gave up porn. porn. porn now, porn. now you were talking about just using your imagination. They say that 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 is not that it, that it does not have the same adverse effects as looking at porn because okay. you're using your imagination. Right. That's what you should be doing. You know what I mean? Okay. When you're looking at it right there in your face, especially if it's, you know, if it's gone from a limited amount of time, you're doing it to now. You know, it anything you do, drugs, you need it to be harder. You know, like you you take in, you're taking you start out with whatever. You start out with doing a bump right, of cocaine. Right, right. You know, fast forward five years, you're fucking mainlining heroin because well, cocaine I don't ain't. Want to laugh, but you know what I'm saying? That it depends it, who you it are. Sta- yeah. It tends yeah. to. But it depends who you are. There's some people that could fucking do drugs occasionally. Some right. people that can't do them at all. Right. Sure, the same thing. Some people that could but fucking I said, I said flog a dolphin occasionally. 
Some people that can't. I said an addict. If you're an addict, which I think that I probably fit that criteria. You're a fapping addict? I'm a fapping addict, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so now, yeah, that kind of does become a dilemma. So listen, can, so am so I so still so allowed so to use my imagination? So yeah, are, you? are you? I don't know. Yes. I don't know. Okay, well, I, want, I, I think I'm just going to give it I up I want computer, every time that you go to use your imagination, <laughs> you want me to call you? I want you to think of me because I'm going to pop in. <laughs> 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 fuck you up <laughs> I'll call you Right before Right before I'll call you Frankie <laughs> Talk it down Talk it down Oh my goodness Well <laughs> hey That's uh It's definitely pretty brave of you To come share that To the audience <laughs> Hey Terry Crews did it He's a much He's a much more well known guy Than I am And he, he said It's done tremendous Things For his relationship And yeah, I, I, I I see I, it affecting My relationship I think I I've, do. Slow, I've I slowed do. down with it yeah. I really have. Yeah. Ever since, honestly, a while ago, ever since Perez kind of brought it up, it mm-hmm. made me think about that. Yeah. And I, I did read some things. I don't. I didn't read about brain matter and stuff, but uh, yeah, it did say mm-hmm. how you know it definitely has those effects, and it does. It does. It does. It seem like it's good for you. No. Right. Right. It does. I almost feel like I'm doing something wrong. But it's like you know, like a, I'm sure. I'm sure a drug addict feels like he's doing something wrong. He still does it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But yeah, so I've just decided to. To, uh, That's gonna put the wall. Well, no, I guess I'll disregard that. <laughs> disregard it. I'm just saying. I think it will help my relationship, my relationship or relationships. Whatever happens, we'll see. I don't okay. really want to talk about that. Yeah, but that's it. That's right. We'll yeah, see boy. what 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 happens. Um, but I I think that everybody, you know, in any relationship, you have to accept your responsibility for its you know success or its demise. And um, I think this profoundly affected my relationship and um you know i i why well, you're doing something about it right yeah, i'm trying to do something about it yeah. that's all that's good that's it buddy that's it does i mean hey well i mean maybe she if she didn't know <laughs> yeah, it certainly does now yeah did she uh, i mean you no. ever talk about this no i mean I, you know i would i would make veiled threats once in a while and be like if what she... say i'm not gonna i'm gonna start jerking <laughs> off <laughs> no if she said i had a headache i'll be like all right i'll just go get in the shower you know <laughs> I'll go get in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it directly, but <laughs> I'll go use. The I'll just go take a shower. Astro glide. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and that was probably just a dig to be like, all right, I'll look at, I'll look at naked chicks that aren't you if you don't want to do it with me. And that's probably like a veiled threat, right? Mark told that one person that that uh, took his own life that I knew, and he was uh, with his kid. And his kid was there, and it was him and his wife were having problems. Mm-hmm. And it was over, over that, over his porn addiction. Really? Yeah. But he was at a point where I didn't ever tell any name. So he was at a point where he was, uh, he was like, uh, what is it called? Not like when you like FaceTime with, with them, like the, the what are, uh, the online stuff. Yeah, like no, yeah. but what do they call chat it? rooms? Like, chat rooms or no, yeah. the webcam, webcam, webcam. Yeah. Yeah. I've never done that ever. Never I've never got looked, to that point. You know, I, don't, I think I think like. Like as long as you stick to the free stuff, and you can look like if you look at a video, you can see it's like 1.7 million views. That's pretty, it can, and it can be pretty hardcore and raunchy too. But when you start going in these chat rooms and shit, that's when people get in trouble. You fucking, you end up talking. Well, this to, guy was talking to somebody. Yeah, I, no, I think, I've never know? done any of that. But yeah, I, I never that, done any that's of that. That's why he and, and ultimately ended his life. I would think. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm sure it was like a, like a demon, you know. But again. You know, even I mean, it sounds like he had marital problems. I'm sure that's what put him over the edge. But they say even if you don't have, you know, that that deep, it affects your emotion. It it it, mm. it can cause you depression. It can cause well, you porn, anxiety. Porn, yeah, well, over, with, over without, without a relate be, without being in a relationship. Correct, correct. But I, I don't like what about these incels? Like I'm talking about, like mm-hmm. this is like th- because of porn is maybe why they don't shoot fucking people up. Right, maybe some of these dudes that had fucking came and shot schools up. Mm-hmm. If they had access to porn, maybe they wouldn't have. Why wouldn't they have access to porn? I Everybody don't know. Does. I'm just saying, you don't know, bro. Maybe Everybody their fucking does. parents had no internet and TV. You don't know. I don't know. I mean, that's you know. But you, don't you don't you think like, dude? Imagine never like, I don't know, never being with a chick. No. Some people are like that. Some people are like that, but then they they usually find their um. I don't want to say their sexual uh, needs met, but they find their love needs met. I mean, I, I watched a, a show the other day on a dude that had an imaginary girlfriend, like literally thought she existed, took her everywhere, sat with her, like ordered two meals and shit, like fucking weirdos like that just do weird ass shit, you know, and oh, they find cool. they, they got mental fucking. Well, they find a, a way or they get pets or they become hoarders or they, 
you know, they find a way to fit. I'm not saying their sexual needs. I'm not sure what they're doing for their sexual needs, or maybe they just don't have sexual needs, but they find a way. We all want to be loved, and we're all looking for love. They find a way to replace that, you know? So if they don't have a girl in their life, they're usually replacing it with something, whether it be an animal. You know, there are weirdos out there that love cats and dogs. Like, they're they're literally married to them. It's crazy. Mm, mm. Like that lady with that chimpanzee, remember that? The one that oh, bit her face off? Yeah. Well, didn't bit her, like, friend's face off. Friend's face off, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. I saw some lady, I don't know what I was watching, but some lady uh, had a, a pet squirrel and had uh, like just room after room after room dedicated to the squirrel's wardrobes and just took pictures wow. of this thing all day and stuff. And then she walks outside and there's the little flower garden. And there's like the last five squirrels that died. You know what I mean? And she did the same thing with all of them. You know what I mean? She just obsesses over a squirrel. Uh, it's crazy. See, that? You ever see... Uh... Uh, a dinner for dinner with schmucks or dinner for schmucks. Yes, yes, yeah. <laughs> he made the, the yeah, mouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. That movie's fucking. That is funny, funny man. Dude. I forgot about that movie until you that just said it. Great. Yeah. <laughs> when they're at the, the that was actually, table. Yeah, it was actually a really good movie. Yeah. Uh, What's his name? That was one of his first roles, I think. Um, that from the office. Marcus? No, the dude from the office. Was Steve Carell. He's the nah, one. I'm talking one of his first roles, but. Oh, really? Wasn't he the one with the mouse? He was. Yeah. 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 yeah great movie. So anyway, man, that's my that's my omission or admission, I guess, for for the day. And, um, you know, I, I hope it has good effects in my life. You know, the yeah. more I read, I was like, holy shit, I got this. But you can do that with almost anything. You get on fucking like WebMD and you'll convince yourself you have AIDS. You know what I mean? So Well, I mean, maybe you will. <laughs> <laughs> but I was reading the symptoms of, you know, porn addiction and, and a lot of it related to things that I've been experiencing. You know? mm. I do feel like my memory is shot. I definitely have emotional, you know, I don't want to say issues, but I, I've battled depression. We've talked about it. I think I battle anxiety on a daily basis. Depression I battled for a short period of time, but, you know. What is anxiety, though? Overstressing about simple things in life that should be normal. Like what? Give me an example if you can. <sighs> could be could be anything. I like mean, pulling it, pulling your car out of the driveway. No, 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 no. But like, um, you know, like like your something with your children could just mm. could just eat at you too much. Eat at you too mm. much, or or in your relationship, you know, could just eat at you, and you get anxiety. You know, I don't I don't know how to. Do, I don't anxiety know how to is your heart rate yeah, increase. Right, and, right, and, right. And, yeah, it could be a simple thing. You know, it depends on the day. It could be mm. could be. Could be you send a text, you know, and you don't get a response back right away. Mm. And you start getting anxious. Like, is there a reason they're not answering? Where are they? What are they doing? You know what I mean? It's like it could be. But you some... let it overtake you. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. I let it. I let it like get a little consuming sometimes. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, yeah. And then you have bigger things. You know, obviously, when you right, go through right, a divorce right. and yeah, yeah, yeah. you have ch- you have children together. Real, real. I mean, though yeah. that that that's a little heavier. Absolutely. It weighs on things a little heavier. But I I get anxious easily. You know, and. um from what I read, that's that's a big contributing partner uh, part of being having looking at porn a lot, you know, which I do. But being anxious is a, an outlet is looking. It's at all porn? related to that, you know. You you so are. Wait, wait, it's so all related wait, to the is gray it, is matter. It, is it okay? Being anxious, the outlet is porn, or porn makes you anxious? No, porn makes you anxious. Mm. You're you're chasing that dopamine drop mm. mm-hmm. from you know that's that's what you're chasing. The, the collage effect. That's yeah, what you're after. Yeah. Okay. And you can get it over and over and over and over and over and over again with porn. You can get it over and over and over again. What, that dopamine hit? That dopamine hit, you know, because it's mm-hmm. endless. Mm-hmm. They say they say now in 10 minutes you can see more Vaginas. women and stuff than, than you know, in, uh, men from, you know, from the beginning of time would see in their entire lifetimes. You see more in five minutes than they would ever see in their entire lifetimes. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty drastic, you know? Yeah. Yeah, wow. Well. I mean, you could see more of anything than you could see in your entire lifetime now because of the internet. So. I know, but do you, there's healthy effects. We're not to supposed it. to see vaginas, I guess. No, I think I think that if you know, it, it depends on your life and what you want in your life. I really, I guess that's it. You know, mm-hmm. for my life, I'm I'm now 46. I don't want to spend the rest. Stop of, fucking packing it in like you're old, bro. I know, but I'm just saying, Fuck, I'm getting man. I'm getting up there. I don't want to spend the rest of my life alone. So if I if I if I can identify something as being a negative impact on my relationship, why would I not work on it? You know what I mean? Yeah, no, dude, I'm not. I'm not knocking yeah, so, you at all. Yeah. I'm not knocking. I'm and not only that, that, here's another thing. 
just time consuming. You know what I mean? Like, like I, I mean, it's not like I'm sitting home at noon. Wait, time too, too much time on a fucking porn like, site. Well, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I could be reading a book instead of doing that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I guess. But but you you were big like you got to find the right vid. Yeah, no, I just scroll, bro. If I can't sleep, you'll be on there for for how long? How long does it take you to pop? If I, I how long from from logging on to popping? Like on average, if if I just listen, listen, listen. If I just logged on and I just wanted to like pop, as you say, quickly, I could probably get it done in like fifteen minutes. But I'll surf for two hours sometimes just because it's it's fun to look at, you know. So I don't want to pop. I just uh, want to keep yeah. scrolling, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so I'll right. waste sometimes two hours, you know? Wow, like, hey, yeah. you got a problem. Bro. I got a problem, got bro. A yeah, problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So Well, it's good you're addressing it, man. I condemn I commend that. <laughs> condemn it? <laughs> I commend that. I commend <laughs> Thank that. you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not not an easy uh, thing to talk about, but I feel like Terry Crews kind of led the charge there. And, I, yeah, and again, yeah. I saw a small little brief interview with Theo Vaughn where he said, you know, I'm giving it up. I'm not looking at porn anymore. It's just I feel like it's unhealthy for me and not doing anything for my life yeah so. i told like i said when when you're on i'm surprised you don't remember i don't that. remember that yeah, that's so weird we were talking about it and maybe we were talking about jesse not fucking like I mean, internalizing, internalizing yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and talking about that and he's saying yeah he, he noticed it was like he just wasn't you know into was some chick he was dating who he really liked right. and this and that and I, you know and I, I thought about it and you know it's kind of funny when you hear one thing you seem like you hear it somewhere else yep. you know and i heard it somewhere else and i'm like damn it made me think and yep. i think i definitely took a little step back and also, I, I, I think, you know, generally speaking, it, it, it kind of ruins your perception of women. You see women now and you just picture them naked. You know what I mean? And, that, you know, like you, you, you want to you know, that shouldn't be your perception of women. You, you should look you should not sexualize every woman you meet. You know yeah. what I mean? That's just to being a man. Now, I it's think. part of it, bro. It's part of it. Yeah. You know, I mean, like you said, it's it's it, but women it, are not built like it's, us it's, at all. I know they're not built like us at all. So it's so crazy. Because think about it, back in the day, we were trying to beat them over the head and drag them into our fucking cave. Right, you know, right, they were they right. were they were almost like deer, fucking like, oh my god, where are they at? Right. <laughs> you know, yeah, we're not programmed to be monogamous. We're programmed just to genetically imprinted on our DNA to breed. You know what I mean? And and that porn is satisfying that need. Your brain thinks, but you, I think you the, procreated. the fact that we are monogamous civilized us. Yeah, I you do know. too. No, I think it's and, a great and, thing. It made us into society. Sure, of course. You know? Yeah. 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 It established a level of... Um, Can I more ice, buddy? Ice? Yeah, I don't know. Ice, ice, Oh, it's up there, sorry. So, yeah, anyway, moving on. We uh, we covered that topic. <laughs> oh, hang on, buddy, hang on. Need a, Frank need a little break, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry for this, but uh, yeah, that's my my talking about porn was was really hard for him. So he, really hard for him. I said that the wrong way. <laughs> so he needs another drink. You told me. I remember you telling me that you were at one of your dad's job sites and you and your buddy were there and you stumbled on a bunch of nudie magazines and you like smuggled them home with you. Yeah. I think every kid doesn't every yeah. kid kind of do that. Like find a porn magazine some well yeah, i mean dude. now yeah. now it's not because our kids there is no porn magazines anymore our kids are going to yeah, discover dude, the internet i told you I see, <laughs> it's scary <laughs> i see my kid this is shit a year ago probably I seen his phone I was looking through his like search history uh -oh. and said me was it mia khalifa <laughs> mm. she's one of my go-to's is she she's one of my go-to's not for yeah. me bro yeah, yeah. Not for really me. you don't dig uh, her no nah. oh dude i dig her uh, she um who was it, Drake? Drake hit her up or something like that? She turned him down? Did she? Yeah. That's, uh, that was a, I don't know, that was the yeah. talk. I don't know if it actually happened, but that's what she claimed anyway. But yeah, I, I'd dig her. You don't think she's... I, she's all right. Yeah. She's all right. It's not like, you know, something I'd fucking Google search, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? I'm more... I, I don't really search individual porn stars per se i don't so, know that i can even name off that many i just you just search genres you know what i mean like genre. what you're into it could be milf big tit milf or milf. you know or whatever cuckolds could be whatever oh you're in the cuckolds <laughs> oh no, i'm not dude wow it's, just, it's a genre i'm not into cuckolds it's a genre. have i looked at it yeah of course man of course i surf you know now what do you do you, obviously okay, you, wait, wait, obviously no, no, you wait, know what wait. it is yeah i know what it is because it's a fucking novel 
I, I'm in, I'm into pop culture, but I, I don't know about. <laughs> so I want to know when you're when you're watching the cuckold video, are you ima- are you fantasizing to be the fucking the, the cuckold or the fucking guy being the cucker? You know what I mean? Which one are you fantasizing to be? No, not the last guy, not the guy that finishes up. I'm the guy before that. <laughs> No, do you know? No, oh, cuckold. No, no, you don't. You don't know what cuckold. You don't know what cuckold is, then. Of course, I do. What is it? Cuckolds when typically a husband wants yeah. to see his wife ravaged, yeah, yeah. and then the dude, the dude, it's usually like a big black bull or something, and the the husband oh, really? at the end comes in and does cleanup. Yeah, really? That's what it is. Yeah. Oh, a husband cut does cleanup. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wow. it makes him like a bitch, like a cuckold. He's the cuckold. Oh hell no! Yeah, he's like a little wow. little bitch. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. It's, de- it's demeaning, you why, know. The wife why, is well, demeaning. What, what does the a guy get out of that? What What does the husband? Yeah, there's a lot of dudes that like to be demeaned, man. Yeah, yeah, a lot of dudes. Yeah. You know, fetishes are weird now. Like you said, Kate wants to talk about foot fetish. Dudes jerk off to feet now. It's so yeah, cool. I could yeah. never do that. Did you ever see Bi- uh, Billions? You ever watch Billions? I don't think so. Nah, uh, it's good. He was like a him and his wife. He liked to be dominated. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a lot of guys out there like that. I'm not yeah. that way at all. It's not my thing, but. I like to be dominant. I don't believe you. If anything, aggressively dominant. You know what I mean? Like, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of drooling and anyway, I gotta, so I gotta stop. Out, Those people I know out. listen to this. Not many. Not many. <laughs> sorry, mom and dad. I'm sorry. I'm a sinner. Sinner. Yeah. Whew. What else, okay, Frank? We uh, can move on. Okay, okay. I'm I'm gonna go in a little bit here. Oh God! See New York, what they did? What they do? Made vaccine uh, mandate for pop private sectors now. Oh really? So pretty much, if you work in New York City, you have to be vaccinated. Wow! And five to twelve year olds have to be vaccinated, and there's a show proof to go in any store, and they can't play sports and shit. Five year old has to be vaccinated to play sports. How how can there not be? Just a mass exodus out of New York. I know there is to some degree, but how how, how can not everybody just leave that? That is, I don't, I don't there's know. such don't tyranny know. and such, you know, it's it's absurd. And it's crazy. You see, like the shit, the, the videos in Australia, yeah, in Austria, in Germany. Like, yo, it's fucking crazy, man. And mm-hmm. you know, I don't know. I've never seen so many vaccinated people get COVID. I, I that happened to me in my world, at least from. It happens with more regularity than people that are unvaccinated. You? Well, yeah, I mean, I guess in my world. I don't know. My world is I'm watching Twitter. No, no. I'm saying people we know personally. Well, yeah. I mean, we were just the, talking the, about the one. Two people we know very yeah. well got it. And they were fully vaccinated. Exactly. You know? And yeah. they got it pretty good, too. Yeah, yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't so easy. Right. You know, because that's what you keep hearing. You're like, oh, well, they got it easy. They got it easy. Well, these people, it wasn't that easy. No, it wasn't you know? easy at all. Oh. Uh, they say, you know, you're less Less symptomatic, you know. Yeah, which whatever. If it is, get if you get it, get it. Like now, people had the chance to get it. Is done. Right. I think the people that and now, dude, <laughs> Israel just okayed the fourth fucking shot. So now, once that now, if you have three shots, you're not vaccinated. Like what? Right. So they introduced that, but Israel is also the country, the only country that did that that profound study that shows more people that are vaccinated are getting it and being hospitalized than people that are unvaccinated. So why are they pushing it so hard? Yeah, I don't know if that was them with that study, but yeah, uh, yeah, wasn't it Israel? I don't know. I thought I it was. A, a, I just know that that's the most vaccinated place, and they keep pushing boosters and right. you know, and they had the most the most fucking positive. the most vaccinated place with the highest density of. Covid infected people, right? I yeah, mean, that's, yeah, that's yeah, the study, yeah, no? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, no, like right. So I, I mean, they were. Yeah, it must have. Well, obviously. They why? Why are they demanding a full yeah, shot? Yeah, I don't know. Dude, none of this makes sense, right? No. Yeah. So. And I just hope this guy here don't do nothing like that. <sighs> See, do you really believe he won? Whatever, man. I, I kind of, I'm kind of a little disappointed that our guy bowed out so quickly. I know. You know? Same. I watched I watched an interview he did after when they were still counting ballots and I was like, All right, he's 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 hanging in there, you know. He's like, Please don't anybody jump to conclusions, we're still in the fight, ballots are still being counted and I was like, All right, he he ain't giving up and then he just fucking gave up, you know. Yeah, it's just scary times, man, especially when you have kids and shit. I tell how about this? My kid went to school today with Pajama pants, Christmas pajama pants on. Did he get booted? And he got in trouble. He, did. he had to get we had to bring him pants. I'm like, but I talked to Renee yesterday because there was a bunch of kids that were going to do it. All the kids that were here yesterday, they said they were all going to do it. They were talking about it, you know, because Renee is like, mm. 
girls can wear choker call dog collars with spikes hanging out of it and booty shorts with their butt cheeks hanging out. But my kid can't wear, you know, Christmas pants. They're pants. pants. They're pants. Right. They're flannel pants. But she said if that happened, she was going to go there and give them peace of mind, did she? We gave him the, she gave him pants because I said, I said we knew this was going to happen, so right. we gave him pants. No, but I'm saying she didn't <laughs> no. speak to anybody? No, no. Not, no. Not your son. No, 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 no. The, yeah, the school, yeah. you know? Because no, no. that is kind of absurd, you know? What, it's crazy, dude. What's the difference? Yeah. You know? It. It's just silly. It's silly. You know? So he didn't really get in trouble. They just said no, if your parents don't pants, bring yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have a cell phone, right? Too young, so he has to call you from the school phone, I guess. He's got a cell phone. Oh, does he? Yeah. Hmm. Um, What's the right age to get a kid a cell phone? Because my daughter wants one, and I said no, and I think her mother's going to get her one for Christmas. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, V has it. I well, V is, has two older brothers that have it. You know what I mean? She has a phone. That's no, fully she functioning? has just an no. iPod. But she can make calls on it. Only at home. Okay. Like when she's on Wi-Fi. Right. That's not yeah. a phone, bro. That's totally different. But your two sons yeah. have it. What age do they get it? I don't even know. V's the same age as my daughter. She doesn't have one. Yeah, yet. they got it young, though. Kind of young. But, yeah. I mean, like, they barely use it. And then yeah. as they get older, they start using it. And, now, and honestly, yeah. it's good. Once we moved to this neighborhood, it was good because we have the, the, like, it's called um, 360 or something. Light 360. Follow, I have a low jack on them, so I know mm. where everywhere they are. You know? I got you. I got you. And that, you know, it's good. Yeah. It tells how fast they're driving in the car and shit, too. Oh, really? Yeah. And I'm like, yo, I don't want to be on that thing. I can see how fast they drive. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, I guess you don't need it for, like, V. Who's she getting in the car with? But for Francesco, he's getting up there where probably his friends have driver's license and stuff, right? Not quite yet. But Almost. I mean, he's yeah. only in seventh grade. But, yeah, he's going to get there soon. Crazy. I'll be 13 next month. It's crazy. You don't remember what age you gave him a cell phone, though? No. Well, 10, maybe? Yeah, I, I'd be probably 10, okay with 9, 10. 10. With limited capabilities, obviously, there have to be yeah. parental, you know, couldn't. You can't, yeah. you can't end up like me and searching porn at 10 years old. So. Yeah. Well, you know, we try to put stuff on it. We do. <clears throat> I mean, you know, my kids, listen, they're kids. I got to let them live a little bit. They get, they're they both on the honor roll this mm-hmm. year, you know, Frank and Tino. That's awesome. And uh, they wrestle. They play sports. I don't hear any issues, you it's know. It's good. So it's good. They're still paying. In my, in my house, I want to beat them. But, you know, outside, they're doing the right thing. Mm-hmm. So that's the most important thing, I guess. Oh, I know something I was going to run by you. I don't know if you saw it or not. Um, did you see the Alec Baldwin in- interview recently? I didn't. I seen a bunch of. Uh, I think it was with George Stephanopoulos. Excerpts. Stephanopoulos. Is that, is ex- that, that's ex- right? Excerpts. Excerpts. <laughs> excerpts from. You it? watching porn? Your memory's fucking uh, digging a dog. Uh, fucking brain matter. The gray matter. He said. <laughs> fucking Roger, the doctor. No. Um, I want the fucking. I want the source. Next time, before you tell a story like that, no, the collage effect. I thought that was collage. That's pretty good. That makes sense. I, yeah. I get it because like a collage. It's is the fun. area of your brain. A collage of titties and vag and buttholes. Well, it's the, it's, <laughs> right? it's the area of your brain where that dopamine dumps. You know what I mean? So that's that's why they. What the collage area? No, I don't know. I'm just saying that the no, name of it. When is... they say collage, that's what they mean. Yeah. Like you're only supposed to see one pussy a week, and you're seeing 55 <laughs> yeah. in a two hours period. Is that the limit? Problem. One a week? Is I don't know. Is it no, the standard marriage limit? Get to walk to another fucking plateau to get some. You know. <laughs> uh, anyway, Alec thing. Baldwin in, interview. I think it was George Stephanopoulos interviewed him, and uh, man, it was. Well, he pretty... said I, he pointed the gun at her because right. she told me to point the gun at me. Right, and I basically cocked the hammer. Blamed her. Basically, I cocked the hammer. Right, and then the gun went off. He said, "Do you have do you have that... guilt? Do you have remorse?" And he said, "No, no, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm it's... not the one responsible. Right. Like, still, you're the one that pulled the trigger. How can you be? No, remorseful? he did not pull the trigger." According to him, no, he did. No, she was telling him how. According to, do it. to him, he he said he never pulled the trigger. Oh, uh, he cocked the hammer. That's it. And then and default. And she told him to release the hammer. He's saying that. Did she? I didn't, I didn't hear that. She, she's showing him how to shoot this. It's a Colt revolver, I believe. And obviously, standing in front of him, which basic gun etiquette is: no matter what, who, what, what's if the gun's loaded, not loaded. You don't point it at somebody, which I guess he was. But she's giving me etiquette on how to shoot it, and he half pulls back the hammer and let it go. But he he the the jo- George said, well, where's the safety people on set? And don't you know you always check a gun before? And he's like, she was the 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 safety you know advisor, the director. That's what he's trying to say. Like he's putting all the blame and guilt on her. And he really it just came across as very arrogant, very pompous to me. That's how. That's how, but they all said, look, this was so well rehearsed and so well done. He's a fucking actor, bro. He cried and they yeah. said, look, that's easy he's for him an to actor. do. But they said it was so well well rehearsed. They're certain that his attorneys were behind this and of saying, course. "Look, this is what you have to say to protect you civilly, protect you, right. you know, right, criminally." Right. Yeah, and of course. So, 
course. Yeah, but it was it just you know he is a great actor, man. I never really cared for you, you know he's he's the, what he what, represents. What, is not what, 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 what movie was he so great in? Well, I, 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 don't know, I, I don't know. I can't think of a movie off the top of my head. But he was great in Saturday Night Live. He was great in that. He was good know? in The Departed. Yep. Right. He yep. was good in uh, Long Came Polly. He was good in Beetlejuice. Fuck, he was in Beetlejuice. Yeah. Holy shit, that's right. What else was he good in? Um, Got a good memory, bud. Maybe you don't jerk off enough. I know. Or jerk off I too much. I don't flap it all at all. Fap. Fap. It's the noise that your hand makes when it hits your nuts. That's the noise that also when I'm smacking the butt <laughs> cheeks, too. It makes that same thing. Is that fapping? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> um, What other movies is this guy in? He was in a bunch of good ones. Doesn't matter. He was a great actor. A bunch actor. of good ones. You got That's it. I named three. No, oh, he hasn't been in a ton of movies. Well, if bro. you fucking if you said I a can't ton, think you can, of a, I, I named all three. You didn't name one. If he's right. been in a ton. This guy's always angry, man. He's always I'm angry. angry. Andrew, no. what else has he been in? Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. Let's fucking look him up. Oh, with Kim Basinger, he was in. Yes, uh, that's right. Um, L.A. Confidential. Yeah. See, I know them all, bro. Come on, come on, Raj. Hit me with one. You said yes. That's what he does. He just he, he just fucking agrees. Yes. I said he was great in Saturday Night Live. Remember <laughs> when he played Adam Sandler? He was played the the Cub Scout. Fucking. He, was, he played Trump too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was your favorite, right? Let's see. Where How long does it take to Google what is? I'm filmography. I, I am, I'm getting the filmography. IMDb. How long does that take? Here, here we, we go. Here, here we, we go. Here we go. Jeez. Film. We'll go with film. Hunt for Red October. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Great one. The Getaway. You know John Bon Jovi was in that? What? He was. He He's the one that said, I hear splashes. He was like the radar guy or whatever when they were dropping the, the fucking bombs down on the submarine. Man, I'm not really depth, down. Depth charges. The aviator he was in. Yeah, I don't know, man. His movies kind of suck, bro. Really? Uh, yeah. What's the one with Kim Basinger? That was LA Confidential, or no? That was The Runaway. <laughs> yeah. So you think he's a shitty actor? I, I thought. No, he was I don't actor. know if he's a shitty actor. I don't agree with his really politics at all. Movies. I think he's a pompous dick. Wasn't he in like a TV show? Do, don't you remember the? the don't you remember the? Um, don't you remember the recorded phone call? Years ago, where he was you know, screaming at his daughter, and he called her a dirty little yeah, pig or something yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 Dirty little pig. It was like his teenage daughter or some shit. His brother. They, I don't think they all talk. Right? I don't think oh, they have anything yeah. to do with each other. Right. Nothing. I don't remember them being. They're from anything. Long Island. The one was in Biodome with Polly Shore. That was Stephen Bowen, right? Was it Stephen? Yeah, that was funny. I remember that. He was pretty Ball, good. Yeah. yeah. He was good. He said. He no, was good. He was funny. He was funny. <laughs> it's funny. He was <laughs> acting with Polly Shore. How good you got to be? Yeah. Weasel. Yeah, the weasel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, did you ever do it? Like, okay, before MTV uh, Jersey Shore, did you ever like come when you were you lived here when the MTV Beach House was mm -hmm. were here? No, I didn't live here then. I no, watched no, it. Uh, I didn't live right. here then. I actually it might have. It might have been like the first year I moved here, but it was also going on before. It went on a couple summers. Yeah. But I do remember we almost ended up with a hot tub from that show. Hot tub from what show? The MTV hot tub they were always chilling in for that, you know, when they were always dancing, MTV beach house. Yeah. It would be fun. It looked like, it looked like a new age Saturday Night Live, basically, you know what I mean? But they had a hot tub there, and there'd always be people in the hot tub. Well, that hot tub got left with this guy, Bill, I forget his last name, but he was an attorney, and he did some work for the show or something. When they left, they're like, we got, he's like, I'll take it. And he had it in, like, his backyard. And then I, we ended up working for him, just doing side job stuff. Who's we? Me and my roommate at the time, my uh -huh. buddy Andrew, that moved yeah. down here with me. We, and we saw it, and we were like, "We want that, you know." But uh, never, we never ended up getting it. But it was, uh, we almost ended up with it. Yeah, probably get yeah. fucking STD and that thing. It was kind of beat up. <laughs> By the time we got it, which was a few years later, it was just been sitting, and it was kind of beat up. But it was, uh, it was, the, it would have been a good story, you know. Oh, good story for the podcast. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> what else you got for us, Frank? What else, pal? I got nothing, bro. Nothing. I got a whole lot of nothing. We could wrap up then. I'll be, you know, I'm getting surgery on Thursday. I do know that. Your our listeners don't though. Talk about it. Oh, a little they bit. do. They do. Yeah. Thursday, you announce the day. Well, I didn't say the day. They don't fucking know what day it is. Mm. Okay. During their car driving and shit. Could be fucking Saturday, <laughs> Wednesday. 
you know? you're 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 having uh your l1 l5 s1 uh herniations addressed right yeah right. disectomy micro disectomy i believe yeah, right. yeah what's the difference between a disectomy and a micro micro is when they the just, same thing right oh is it i, I thought, don't know i have no idea i thought they went in with their hands with a disectomy and they just do those little incisions with a micro right and they go in with a little blazer blazer things yeah but whatever i could be wrong well, i literally had it done 22 years ago on the same level on the other side right so I'm getting this side, but I'm saying you imagine 22 years right. would have to be better and yeah. different oh, gotta now, be. right? Got to be, yeah. Got to be less of this. Better be. Sure, it's got to be. I mean, I would think. But although, I, although, remember I was telling you about we had to take my daughter in for the eye exam, and the the test has not changed since like 1972. Is the original? 72. Yeah, remember it's yeah, the, yeah, it's the yeah, cocaine yeah, and the yeah, the yeah. cocaine and uh, yeah. eye drops or whatever. He's like, listen, you know. Ethically, you gotta you gotta say that you're okay with this, but uh, he said, you know, the only way to to test her for Horner syndrome was to dilate her eyes with liquid cocaine, like you know. Where can you get your hands on that? I, I don't know. He said it's such a minimal, tiny amount that it would never. But you know, of course, they make the joke. She can't go for a job interview for two weeks, but she was only like two, two years weeks. old. Cocaine's on your system that long. Yeah, no, he, it was a joke. It was a bad joke. Yeah, yeah, good, good. But I'm saying that. You know that the way to address Horner syndrome has not changed since the seventies. So some things have, some things haven't. I would think with surgeries, probably, yeah. Yeah, I mean, right, right. Yeah. Some innovative shit, hopefully, happen. right. But you look in pain, bro. You definitely do. I, I spent the I'm day with you bro. yesterday, and you looked. I mean, bro, look, I can't even look at the pictures that I'm gonna send you. Like uh, you can see just the way I'm standing, yeah, dude. Fuck, yeah, yeah, it sucks, bro. Yeah, that sucks. But we'll get to the bottom of it. Yes, sir. All right, buddy. Well. I wish you luck with that. Yeah, I'm sure you, you'll bounce back. I never, you, bro. This dude, he didn't talk about it much, so a lot of people didn't know. But uh, dude had a hip replaced. Was supposed to be like on crutches and a walker for a month. And I remember seven days after he had it, he was walking down the stairs, coming down here to do the podcast, walking by himself. I ain't no bitch. I ain't no bitch. Yeah, no, I, I don't ask. Everyone's like, "Oh, what did the doctor say?" Well, I don't ask. All right, buddy. Let well, the body tell me. Yeah. Listen, if, uh, two a.m. You're sound asleep. Laying next to your wife And the phone rings Pick it up bro Cause I'm about to jerk off And I want you to talk me downhill Bro right? I'm like listen <laughs> Listen bro You need to stop Why don't you go Dip your hand in some sand Right now That'll help That'll deter you Yeah Yeah that's true right? just, Dip, just put some sand on it Put some of the, <laughs> those Those rough rubber gloves That you can buy Put those on Wear those at bed tonight. Rough rug, rubber gloves Yeah those ones That have all the grit And stuff built into yeah, them For yeah, grip yeah. You know what I mean Give yourself fucking Matt burn on yeah. your Cock and balls yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah hey That's good man Stay away Yeah What's it called Abstinence Well abstinence, abstinence Is no is none No, no none okay. No sex at all So you yeah. gotta do The imaginary spank right, bank Right 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 Use right. that imagination Bring it back Like your little kid Mm-hmm. Be fucking rainbow bright by the end of the night. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. Champ and the Tramp out. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for all the support. Stick it okay? <laughs>